Hello, my name is Perio, and today I made a coil bow. Let me show you its features. <laughs> yeah, first of all, this coil bow really, it doesn't have a set projectile. You can basically shoot anything you want. Um, there is an attached brush holder, so use anything as a brush to hold your projectile in place. Uh, let me demonstrate real quick with the scalpel. You can just load this thing back in there. Let it click and lock in place. Oh, hold up. There we go. Now then just load the scalpel in. And yeah, almost ready to fire. Just have to put this wooden board back up. And yeah. Ta da! It got stuck in. Pretty deep actually. Um, Although I did show you something really, really dangerous that you probably shouldn't do. This is more of a toy. It doesn't really shoot that far. And yeah, I've included download links in the description. STLs will cost 250 but, you know, I'm a broke college student and this actually took up quite a bit of time and resources to design and prototype. But good news is, I released the step files for free. So yeah, you can export STLs and whatever you want. Uh, the STLs, however, are quite nicely packaged if I do say so myself. I put up, I put every single part in the correct printing orientation along with how many you should print and support or no support at all. And then there are batch prints as well. It's what you should print in batch to actually make this thing. And I even sliced up a few of the parts so if you have a smaller printer you can just print them in half and then you know glue them back together, epoxy, whatever. But yeah. Now that's over, let's start assembling this thing. Alright, so once you have all the parts printed out already, let's get to assembling this thing. Before you start assembling it, you will need a few things though. You will need um, pliers, like two of them, which I have right here. Uh, something to cut with, which I have a scalpel right here that I use. And some string, which it doesn't look that great, but it's the only string I have. Any string will do. So yeah, let's get started. First thing we need to do is to actually create the trigger mechanism. For that, you will need to find these two pieces right here. These are the trigger plates. Notice how this one has a hole in it right here. That's where we're going to be starting. First of all, find this nut with like a spiral on it and um, hook it through the trigger mechanism or the trigger plate. Make sure this piece right here, I'll show you, this piece right here is near the actual pin itself and then add in your um, anchor keep your hand on this keep it affixed in place and then add in the anchor or not the anchor sorry the trigger sear and yeah confirm that it actually pulls back the thing the trigger when you pull it and then right after that take this trigger bolt right here put it on top add in the trigger bolt itself like so and then, ta-da, your trigger mechanism is finished. It's fairly simple. Confirm that it works by placing a load right here and then pulling it. That should happen. And as for resetting the trigger, oh, the spring came off, or the pin came off. As for resetting, push this. You hear that click. Now it's locked back into place. If that happens, your trigger mechanism is done. Now you can bolt it back. Take your 10 millimeter nut, trigger nut right here, and then just screw it in. Just like so. And then your 8 millimeter trigger nut, and then screw that also right in. Just like that. Also, make sure the trigger nut isn't in too tight, or else, check it out. Something like this will happen, where it doesn't actually... Um, the friction causes it not to move. But yeah. Works beautifully. Now then, to get started assembling everything else, we will start off with this piece right here. Um, this is the top guide. Take one of these longer bolts right here. These longer um, bolts right here, and then just shove them through the holes. Like so. After that, you want to find these two hex plates right here. Make sure to install a hex plate where this curved piece right here goes towards the bottom. And this piece right here, you see that little thing sticking out? 
fill focus. It goes, it points inwards. This piece right here points inwards. Install it like so. After that, get the rail guide right here. Hook in the trigger mechanism towards the top of it, like so. And then push it in this assembly, like so. Now then get your other mounting bracket. Push it in like this. Push it in. There we go. Um, see this bolt? Just hammer it. If you get stuck, just hammer it. Don't worry about it. Things are strong enough, hopefully, if your printer settings are correct. Then place this other top bracket over here. There we go. Now you can bolt this assembly using the nuts. Like this. If it will work. <sighs> there we go. Let me just use these pliers and then bolt everything together. The other one. And ta-da, we just finished assembling, I like to say 50% of it. Now then, you need the mounting brace, or the grips. I'm using the grips with the brace, but you can also print without one. Important note, all the grips will have this tiny rectangular thing right here. You can see that, there we go. This tiny rectangular hole. Um, they basically fit up, I like to shove it in there, and shove this thing in, and ta-da. It fits and it's locked. Now then, take the shorter bolts, bolt them like so. And then you're almost done. Install this bolt right here. This one's a more trickier one. We'll probably need to clamp this down right here and then there we go now then finally we will take this hex shaft right here um, first of all take a spiral spring make sure that the um, oh there you go make sure that this hook area is just slightly below this rail then just shove that in oh it there we go just slightly below. Nope. There we go. And then take the other one. Do the same thing. Make sure they line up. That's the biggest problem. Or that's the biggest thing you have to keep out for. Make sure they line up. So that one's a bit too far. Just move it up one thing right there. And yeah. Now then you feel free to bolt that together. And yeah, you're almost done. Next up is oh, the brush plate. Now this piece right here, just squeeze the top rails together and then hook it in like that. This plate right here, you put some foam or like a piece of paper in there and that serves as your brush to hold in whatever you're shooting. And finally, your string, how to string this thing. You'll need to cut off a tiny, tiny bit, or not a tiny bit, sorry, a generous amount of string, I guess. Which I'll do right now using a scalpel. Then feed in through one of these um, springs right here. Make sure there's a little bit sticking out, like this much, I'd say. Then tie that up. I'd use a double, like a double, um, what's it called? Knot. Just to make sure that everything's nice and snug there and nothing goes loose. There we go. And then take your other string, hook it through here, through there. Nope. Hook it through there. And then onto the next spring. And now repeat, rinse and repeat. Just tie it up.
like so. And then give it another one for good measure. And yeah. Now then, now that you have this part, uh, what you can also do is also tie this top part together, like so. That way it just gives you something nice to pull on, although this trigger guard will get in the way, so yeah. Um, kind of my bad for like, like bad designing, but I couldn't figure out a better way to actually do the brushing thing but that would be 3D printable. So yeah. Now then, as for actually caulking the gun, what you want to do is you want to take this top part that you made and just hold on right here and pull. Oh my god. There we go. Ta -da. Now then, as for shooting goes, you can see here my brush is a tiny bit of succulent I found on the floor. If it'll focus, there we go. It's just a small succulent to show you that anything can really use for the brush. Projectile is a green crayon and fire. Yeah, it doesn't go very far, but hey, it's cool and it's fun and also succulent.